Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I remind you that we release videos three times a week. And today I'm with you, my name is Svetlana, and we keep on working on our costume, or rather, on the costume for Anna Viktorovna. Today we will do a full cut of both trousers and jacket. I would like to say a little bit about the fabric, which, as a matter of fact, we have changed. Someone wrote in the comments that this color is not quite suitable for Anna Viktorovna. Yes, indeed, it wasn't. I could say that I have followed your comments. But there was another thing. Anna Viktorovna chose this costume, which we have been considering, and of course she liked when I demonstrated the fabric samples, this fabric she liked the most. Anna Viktorovna chose this particular fabric, a grey herringbone, but at the time when we were buying the fabric, this color was not on sale at all, and we had to buy this dark grey herringbone, checkered one. When I went to buy a fabric, to our great joy, this fabric appeared. And we decided to buy a grey fabric after all, uh, which really suits Anna Viktorovna, because she is blonde and her skin color is white, and it will also be close to this sample of ours, which Anna Viktorovna chose. Therefore, I think that we made you happy and we ourselves are very happy too about this fact. Therefore, we no longer need this fabric, we we'll remove it and proceed to cutting. I did a jacket modeling and spent some time with this thought. Uh, it happens to me so often. I sometimes wake up at night and think about the model that I have in my work. Now I will make changes right away, along the way. You will see it. So, we put the largest part of the trousers, measured along. That's it, this distance from the edge of the fabric to the line of the stitch should be the same. 28 centimeters, 28 centimeters. We must always remember that it is very important, especially in trousers, that the interlining is to be clear, because there were such moments in our practice, for example, Natasha and I once sewed trousers when Natasha was not cutting yet. I cut out the trousers, folded the fabric in half, and it turned out that there was a skewed interlining. And when we began to fit the trousers, the client felt that she had one trouser leg uh, strongly, strongly stitched. For a very long time we could not understand what had happened, but then we realized that it turns out it was necessary to cut out the details separately. First one detail was right, then the left. Therefore, here we have the perfect fabric here. I checked the interlining, it's perfect, therefore we immediately begin to outline our details. We will make two centimeter add-ons. We will still be reinsured. We have never sewed trousers for Anna Viktorovna before, therefore it is better to let us have large add-ons, two centimeters in side cuts and in step edges. Here you can see that the herringbone goes along the green line. We put all the lines that we have on the details. Because in order to baste well, we will have a lot of control points. And this is a guarantee that we will be accurate.
13.5 cm. Here we have the hip level, buttock crease and knee. And we definitely need to outline the ironing line of trousers. Now let's see what we have here. Because it should go strictly along the line of the herringbone to match it. This way. All right. The ironing line goes straight along the line of the herringbone pattern. Where in some places here we have kind of waves, but this does not mean that we should draw the line as it is. We will have to draw the trace seam exactly according to the drawing. So, yes, we can remove this detail now. And these are all the control points when we'll be basting. Now we're drawing our allowances. That's it. We proceed to the front details. We will draw the front part according to the same principle. We spread it along the edge too, because this is the most advantageous arrangement of parts. We now have the middle part free with a fold. So there is a lot that we can put there. Pay attention. I have outlined the contours. In the area of the box seam, of course, it's not very convenient for fitting. There will be such allowances, but at least we would have the opportunity if we suddenly located this point too low we will have the opportunity to raise it later. And if we make a small seam, uh, as it should be, that is a centimeter, we will no longer have such an opportunity. That's why I'm in this place too. But when fitting, we will remember why we made this allowance. We do not make an allowance here. We don't need it here. That's all. I've circled this detail too, and we won't need it anymore either. Here we also apply the ironing line. There has appeared a fold at the waistline and control points are the thigh line, the buttock crease line, 
the knee line, the bottom line and the hem allowance line. That's all. That's the way. We can mark the opening of the pocket 4 cm in order to baste it. So that at the fitting it could be seen where we should move on. That's it. We can move on now. We have a sufficient amount of fabric. Right now it will be interesting to find out exactly how much fabric we will spend on this suit. Now we have laid out the bottom band and reached the 3.5 meters mark. Since the fabric has no directional pattern, it has neither pile nor shade, we can put the details as we want. Therefore, despite the fact that our trousers look to the right, we put the bottom band to the left. Because the best way it could lie down was like this. I tried many ways and it didn't work out like this. So I've copied the facing front from the bottom band. It's also quite voluminous, you see. Therefore, it's not possible to put it anywhere. What about a yoke and a side? Have a look what I want to do. So, first, I'll probably put the button band. And then I'll explain what I wanted to do with the yoke. I'm outlining the button band. We've checked that the interlining threads have been measured. I made the collar just straight, as you remember, without any smooth lines. It's assumed that uh, the finished product line will be here. But so far I have drawn it as it is. We reach the side cut. And what kind of decision did I make after all? Still, I have made a decision. Here I leveled uh, the side edge, but now I decided to make the side cut a little to the front. Closer to the front. Therefore, now I'm moving the side seam to the front by a centimeter. Here we shorten the dart. We shorten the dart. And from this point, we make a new side cut. So, here. Why did I decide to do this? It seemed to me that the side of the back is too narrow. Therefore, I decided to add another centimeter to it. Mm -hmm. 
Here we have our new side seam. The chalk is already blunted. That's it. Look, I immediately draw the seam allowances. Two centimeters is too much, of course, but I leave them. Of course, I will cut it all off later. And the Victorina doesn't have the opportunity to go to the fitting often. Therefore, if there were at least two fittings, then we could already somehow decide. And since there is no opportunity to go to the fitting often, that's why we do it this way. The center of the front must be marked. The fold line must be marked too. The fold line. We draw the fold line. The line of the center of the front. What's next for us here? We make an allowance of 5 cm. Usually we do 4, but now 5. What if we suddenly want to lengthen it a little, at least by a centimeter, and there will be no thing to lengthen with? So here we have 2 cm. Although I could have done more than two on the arm C. The arm C will definitely not be lower. I'm doing a centimeter as usual. Because it won't be quite well on fitting. That's all. There is also a centimeter allowance along the edge of the collar. Here, one. And a centimeter. So, here is the center, the fold line, shoulder seam. So, here is what else you need to outline. The waistline, bottom line, hem allowance, that's all. That's all, now we turn to the yoke. I decided to make a yoke after all. After all, I decided to make it bigger, like in the photo. And it means plus 3 cm. We circle the yoke pattern. Here I add 3 cm.
3 cm. Here it is on this line. That's the way. And the allowances are all the same, 2 cm along the shoulder line. Once again, 2 along the shoulder line. One centimeter along the neckline. One centimeter along the arm C. and 2 cm at the bottom. What if then you suddenly still want to lower the yoke? Here's the yoke. Now the main thing is not to forget anything, where we added and where we need to reduce. Since we have the center of the back here, the yoke has been removed. The face in front laid very well here in this place. Therefore, this is our side of the back. Then we immediately add 5 cm here. From this point, there is a right angle. right angle and we add a centimeter here because we took a centimeter off the bottom stand it doesn't quite fit in here I'm not going to draw it yet because we already have a bottom stand here We draw the front facing then. The front facing lays right well here. Yes, it's better to let the piece stay here. Maybe pockets will come out here. We'll find another place for it, for the side. So, here we have 1 cm, here we have 2 cm, we do 2 cm here, that's ok, 2 cm and 1 cm. Two centimeters. Here, along the cut of the face in front, there is also a centimeter. There's a centimeter here, 
centimeter five centimeters so what have I done with the back what changes have I made here I've just added three centimeters to the yoke so I'm cutting off three centimeters from the back now so that I don't get confused So, first I'll do this. I decided to reduce the depth of the central fold on the back because I thought that after all it will be too deep and kind of vertical waves could appear. But we don't need this effect, so I decided the depth of the crease is to be made not 3 cm as I planned, but 2 cm. So I'm cutting off 2 cm, and this extra distance that is at the bottom of the product, I also just remove it. It will be the same as it was after I drew the base. That's why I'm cutting off everything I added. Or rather, uh, what I considered unnecessary. That's the way. And I remove 3 cm, which I have already added to the length of the yoke. Let me have it, because we will then cut the lining, so that nothing gets lost anywhere. That's it, these three centimeters went to the yoke. We removed the yoke, this way. And here we removed a centimeter from the front of the part. So we add one centimeter to the back too, so as not to forget. So this is a detail, the middle part of the back fits perfectly with us. That's right, it fits the bottom sand, they perfectly match each other. That's the way. They really match perfectly. This is the edge of the face in front. That's great, just gorgeous. Now we're starting to draw lines. Here it has gone up a little bit, but we are making a right angle. This way. Right angle. This is a pocket facing on the slit. We will make it 3.5 cm. 3.5 cm is the pocket facing. And 3.5 cm for weld, so that we have a one piece weld right away. Three and a half. This is the bottom of our product. The bottom of the product, you remember that I added 10 cm because the center part of the back was longer than the bottom stand. 
I added 10, but I lowered it, cut off 3 cm from it. I have now the difference between the central part of the back and the bottom stand, and the difference is 7 cm. So then, a weld, a one-piece lining, plus a seam. So as not to get confused. The seam. So, here we have, it seems like we made 2 cm there, and there was 2 cm on the yoke. That's so good, everything here is beautiful. And of course, we definitely outlined the waistline, this way, the hem, the bottom of the product, the waist, and the slit. All the lines have been drawn. So we're cleaning this up. The yoke and the center part of the bag have already been drawn. We still have a side of the bag and two sleeves. Let's see what we have left. If we put a sleeve here, it doesn't go right through here. We will not put it here. Let's see what's here. In general, the good piece of uh, the material is remained. Maybe it will be a piece for a skirt and maybe even here it will be possible to cut out some detail of the dress. Well, in general, I don't touch this piece. We'll see what we have. In any case, we have fit 2.90 meters. It's not critical at all for this size and for such a height. So here we have something left for pockets. Therefore, we're calm, completely calm. We have a mark of three and a half. We calmly put down our sleeve. We're going to draw it now, approximately. We will cut it out only when we have the details of the back and the bottom stand will be cut out, so that we can measure the length of the arm C. And only then we will finally cut out the sleeve. Another moment. Another moment is that this is the bottom of our sleeve. And I have 3 cm left on the lapel. For a jacket, it's about nothing at all. 3 cm can be given on a shirt, on a blouse. And that's what I decided. I have decided, after all, for 6 cm. If it's such a lapel, it will be a beautiful lapel. Therefore, uh, we will get this. So we get 6 plus 6, that's 12. And we also need to catch on the lining. 15. About this length we will have a sleeve in the finished form. And it will just turn out that the side of the back will fit very well here. Most likely, we will have a side of the back. Or we can do it like this. After all, here we have, that's right, we'll do it like this. Why? Because the sleeve is here. Just such details are all big ones here. It will fit. And here we have that's where the side can go. Here, it's perfectly simple. 
Who's doing well? I'm doing well. So we circle the side of the back here. I've applied the last detail. I haven't forgotten anything. A centimeter has been added here. A tall seams. I added respectively to all the details. Here I added six and six and made an increase to fold the bottom four. In general, I have got within 3.95 meters, but in fact we still have pockets in our trousers, patch pockets. In principle, 4.20 will be enough for us. Well, right, if we remember that we still have a big lunge, we usually take 4. Well, 4.20 you can uh, so reinsure yourself. And in general, 4 meters for such a height, I think that is not uh, such a critical consumption of fabric. Therefore, everything will be fit in 4 meters. Now we will start cutting out the details from the larger ones to the smaller ones. We will cut out the trousers and gradually move on. The fabric has shifted a little. That's the way. The table is slippery. That's all. Now you can safely cut it out. Now, after we have drawn the allowances, we can be sure there will be no mistakes while cutting out. We can safely cut it out. The back is ready. We will cut out the rest of the details behind the scene. Our parts are ready for basting. Please know that this method that I use uh, is why I remove the tracing paper immediately. Because I usually always transfer all the constructive lines. I apply all the trimmings, bands, darts at once so that later I do not remove the trace and paper and again do not to go to the fact that I need to draw all the lines. That's why I use this method. Look how beautifully everything turned out. Everything is smooth. Everything matches. You can see what kind of arm seat we got. It's just good. That's how our arm seat turned out. Here it is. Here, as it would have been, the counterfold turned out to be so neat. I cut out the sleeve approximately, because I said that only after we measured the length of the arm seat, only then we can cut the sleeve to the end. Well, in general, I cut out all the major details, even I cut out the side. Although the face in front is usually done after fitting, but I cut out now at the beginning. This is about a jacket. Now we'll see how the trousers turned out. 
Here are our trousers. Look how beautiful they are too. Here's the crease, as expected. And look how pretty it turned out. Such a pretty, pretty fold. Very neat. I think that Anna Viktorovna, as Irina Mihailovna says, what a gorgeous she will be. This is where we can finish our lesson. Subscribe to our channel, put likes and write comments. I, Svetlana and our whole friendly team were with you. We will meet you now at fitting on a living person. We will do a fitting. Therefore, wait. You'll see everything soon. Bye-bye.